What's up guys, it's me Janne here back again for another video and in today's video I will be doing another rally sprint challenge and uh, this time around I will be driving through a stage called Karkola Sprint again given to me by uh, Onni aka Onza and uh, it, the stage is done by this young guy Esko Kutomaki and his stages like the one I did on Monday's video are really really top notch and uh, yeah like in previous rally sprints challenges as well, one recce run under 50k pkmh kilometers under 50 kilometers per hour, and then two runs like in serious manner and trying to be as fast as possible and hopefully not to bin it. And uh, as last time was quite of a clusterfuck, to put it lightly, uh, I chose to do this one in a slightly less powerful car and uh, all of that so it sh should be easier this time around but yeah haven't driven the stage before so we will see about that how it goes but without further ado let's hop on to the start start line for our recce run and here we are at the start line of uh, Caracola Sprint in the Evo 9 box. N4 I just realized that I don't have like a sp sp speed meter here, so I'll just cruise through easily. Maybe might be doing a bit more than 50 kilometers per hour, but you'll just have to deal with that now. You can't prove me, me being, you know, guilty or, of anything. And I'm uh, really trying to memorize the road so this wouldn't be such a sad showing like the last one was. <laughs> it was utterly, utterly horrible. Okay, there's a tightening right-hander, long tightening right-hander after the straight. And we stretch our legs a bit, not much, just a small, small stretch. And... Uh, It's a really tricky junction here, like really, really tricky. Narrow as hell. So, uh, interesting to see how we can manage through there and if I will remember that junction. Won't. Oh, she came as well. This is like a proper rally sprint stage, this one. Love it. Absolutely love it. And there's a jump. Yeah, it's a flat out jump, I guess. And another jump. Not as flat out, you need to tie in a bit and then have a right hander here. This can prove to be tricky, that bump there. Just want to step on it already, you know, but yeah, let's let's take it easy now. I guess we are going maybe like at 60, 70 kilometers per hour. So slightly on the gangster side, but not much. Here we have a deceptive right-hander with plenty of people to run after the car when it goes out. Not if, but when. I know it. And I don't even know how long this stage is. I, have, I don't have it visible on my dash. I don't have anything else visible on my screen either. So I'm just driving through here, cruising. Cruising down the streets in my 6 fall. Well, not quite 6 fall. More like cruising down the streets in my e boat. But yeah, this is... Uh, I'm never going to memorize all of this. So this is, this is going to be a challenge, indeed. But a uh, yeah, brilliant looking stage, and uh, this Esco dude keeps putting this up like in a really, really fast pace too, which is impressive given the very, very good quality of the stages. I mean, 
no complaints whatsoever here none at all and also the Bath the stage that I drove on Monday's video was also by Eska and another top notch top notch uh, stage that one and I've done a few of others of his stages as well but uh, and uh, yeah there's no difference in quality those are like very very good how am I supposed to remember all of this I mean my uh, respect for rally sprint drivers just grows immensely I don't know if I say rally cross but I meant rally sprint but yeah rally sprint drivers grows immensely with each of these challenges when I show how hopeless I would be if I were a rally cross driver although rally sprint why do I keep mixing them up but yeah if I was a rally sprint driver I would be quite hopeless or then I would be driving like full grandma but that's not ideal either and uh, okay then I would be concentrating on the road ahead completely wouldn't have to be talking my way through okay his jump flat I'd say it's a flat jump and then we go through our recce time was 504.65 and uh, I hope that I can beat at least that but anything below that I think <laughs> gonna be a challenge let's see how far we can get not far but yeah let's now head on to the stage first run in anger hopefully we get bel below that five minute mark gloves on so you know it's serious gloves on so you know it is serious now didn't go off in the first corner that's promising nor in the second this is like a high score to me already <laughs> No, it wasn't yet. I think I should have the longer gears, but then again, I'm too scared to go the fifth, like onto the limiter, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, th this was bad. I tried to avoid it, but apparently I couldn't. And now we're having a NASCAR steering with the wheel being aligned to the side a bit. Although I don't remember which way the steering wheel is aligned to in NASCAR. So, could be a badly researched joke as well. This was flat, I remember it. Yeah, this not so much. And uh, it was a long straight with a tricky right hand given away by those strips there. This was a long left hander. Run Jeremy down there long. That's how long that was. I have a feeling we're gonna go off. There wasn't even a rock on the inside when I cheekily cut a bit. That's nice. Yeah, I'm driving like a like grandma here. There's tarmac on that part. Oh, it sounded like tarmac, that's weird. And now we have another chicane. This was three bales. Should update my co driver plugin to say how many bales there are in a chicane, or you know, to have that. 
option. But yeah, just like the previous video showed, I will not become a rally sprint driver with this kind of cautious ass driving. And then we go flat out all the way through the straight and I would like to say that this is a flat jump. It is. And we made it through surprisingly cleanly. I mean I think we can go under three minutes on the next one if we don't cock it up again on the on the junction. Are we can go this far? There's, you know, like a time control and everything. Sadly, it seems to be flickering a bit, but we couldn't reach it. But, uh, yeah. Let's have another go immediately, so... We'll see if we can get underneath that three-minute mark here on this video. I hope so, but we'll see. Three, two, one. Did it dig up like that last time? I can't remember. Nothing solid? Yeah, great. But for reality's sake, I think this run is now screwed already. <laughs> Won't go too inside this time around. Yeah, I can't remember the road at all of it. But I do remember this jump, it's flat. This other one. I did remember that right hander to be trickier, but here we have the tricky right hander. With me downshifting too enthusiastically there. It's a tricky car because you need to like upshift really early. Really, really early. Oh. I almost went off here in the first run as well. Lost the grip to my steering wheel there. Need new gloves, definitely. These are getting quite old and worn, not getting that good grip on the leather rim. And you like generally need to drive this car with quite a high gear or oh, big gear which way you want to go with low rpms because that's where the torque is it's kind of weird since you can see the rpms going all the way up to seven but like anything over five is really useless I think we can make it under three now. Oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, let's put it that way. With our slight trip. Fuck it, send it. Easily under three. No worries whatsoever. E <coughs> Easily under three. That's what's up. But yeah, those are two runs done. I'd be a bad, bad rally sprint driver. A really, really bad rally sprint driver. 
And there we have it. Those were my two rally sprint runs through the Caracalla sprint stage. And yeah, I'll be linking the stage below so you can try the same challenge as well. And if you do the same challenge, let me know in the comments below what was your time. And uh, for comparison's sake, I'd recommend you use also the Evo 9 and 4. So, you know, to be comparable. But feel free to use whatever you want. But that is all for now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you later on this week with the fourth round of Ihan the Valen and Rallisaria. That's going to be on Sunday. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.